What's going on? It feels like it's been a while since I had a chat with you guys. And do you know what? It probably has. It's been over two weeks. Football's a weird thing for me right now. I'm in a weird place with how I feel about football. And look, most of that is to do with Chelsea and this season being so rubbish. And this is the struggle of being a mid-table club. This is what it feels like. You've not got a lot to play for. And yeah, look, we've got another trip to Wembley and we do have something to fight for. But it's confusing being a Chelsea fan right now because I think we all know what is inevitably going to happen on that next trip to Wembley. We know that in the league we're fighting for absolutely nothing. Europe is a absolute pipe dream at the moment. If we can even get close, we've done well. The manager's bang average. The ownership haven't got a clue. There's all this fast with fan supporter groups. And then I thought, international break, I'm going away. I can kind of switch off from football, have my own little international break. And look, that was great. It was nice turning away from football for a little bit because it's been awful and it's so negative at the moment. And when there's so many negative things, it's hard to try and find positives elsewhere when you're this into football. I'm sure I'm not the only person that feels like this. When Chelsea are rubbish, it really gets me down. It really does. And it's important to try and remember not to let that affect you. But I then thought England will be on. It'll be great. We can hopefully see what Southgate might have in store for us come the Euros. Well, that's not happened, has it? It's probably one of the worst international breaks we've ever had. Look, a lot of injuries for England as well, but I think players just aren't bothered when it comes to international friendlies. I don't know if half of them are injured. I think they're just more focused on achieving stuff with their club. He's the worst manager England could possibly have right now because this is the best bunch of players we've had in so, so long, and he's just so negative. It's boring. It's awful football. Um, his selections absolutely confuse me. I don't understand the hype that some players get from the press and fans as well. From what I saw, England were awful. We, we really didn't look good. Southgate plays horrific football. He shouldn't have been in the job past the World Cup that we just had. He allowed this team to perform so horrifically in that tournament. His record against big countries is is horrific as well. Isn't it like seven wins in over 20 games or something like that he's had against the big top countries who we should be competing against? The only way we've ever done well in these tournaments is to absolutely fluke it there pretty much with some very easy run-ins. I've lost all patience with Southgate and to have this much talent, it's just so frustrating to see it be wasted on a manager who is so defensively minded and cowardly. It's just awful. So we get away from England and we, we're looking forward to coming back to football with Chelsea and guess what happens? Chelsea release their injury list. And to be honest with you, I've just had enough. I've absolutely had enough. I've got no hope or inspiration or motivation for this Chelsea side right now. We've had this injury crisis all season I think nine names have been released today, but Pochettino's come out in a press conference and said it could be 12. He said this is the worst he's ever had in 15 years. And do you know what? I was thinking, maybe this is the manager. Maybe he's pushing them too hard. But actually, I'm not sure. I think this is one to do with the players and two to do with the medical staff. I don't think this is to do with the manager because I don't think he's ever had an injury record this bad. Our players that we've signed are far too fragile. They are not durable, and that is one of the most important assets you need right now in modern football. I'm I'm fed up, to be quite honest with you. Every week, I, or every couple of days, it seems, Chelsea are continuing to add players to the injury list, and all I see is, is um, carrying on with their rehabilitation program. That's all you see. It is undergoing, or something like that, I think it says. It's a joke. What is going on? I think Chalaba, Chukwemeka, Sanchez and potentially Chilwell have all been added to that list. Three of them haven't played. Sanchez hasn't played. He's made a YouTube video. Chalaba's barely been playing football. He's injured. Chukwemeka's just come back. This kid looks so good when he plays and then he gets injured. And not to name, like the rest of the list is a joke, like an absolute joke. I think now it has got so bad other fans are starting to realise how bad our injury list has been. Because I feel like, apart from Chelsea fans, it's been overshadowed a little bit. There's been a lot of talk about Newcastle's injury list and a couple of other teams and how they can't quite get up to the level they should be because of their injuries. Well, look, 
as much as I don't rate Pochettino, when you've got an injury list this bad, what can you do? Honestly, what can you do? And I was thinking about it. In a couple of days' time, we're pretty much a year on from sacking Potter. And where are we as a club? I don't feel like we've made a step forward. And I thought sacking Potter was the answer to all things. I definitely didn't think Lampard was the right decision after that. I was completely adamant that was the wrong move. And it turned out to be exactly what I expected. An absolute horror show. A relegation level manager, unfortunately, is Frank. And that's what happened. And now, a year on, I don't feel like Chelsea Football Club have made many steps forward at all. I'm hearing all this negativity coming from the players, agents, saying they can't believe how quickly fans turn. Well, I can, because the players that you have aren't good enough for Chelsea Football Club right now. It's as simple as that. Otherwise, they wouldn't be 11th. Yes, I'm not happy with Pochettino, but ultimately, the people on the pitch are the reason that we are where we are in the league and so far off it and not able to produce in finals these kids just don't really have it in them to consistently perform. And that, look, that could all change in a couple of years, and I want to back them. But right now, it's, it's really difficult because football's not enjoyable for me as a Chelsea fan or as an England fan. What do I have to hope for? I, it's not a lot. The only thing I can hope is that Liverpool and Arsenal don't win the Premier League. Like, what sort of a joke is that? I'm a bit lost, and I, I guarantee... I'm not the only fan that feels like this. We've got... We, we've got Lavia, right, who we haven't even spoken about. What is going on there? We signed a player who's played half an hour. Pochettino said we signed him from Southampton for £60 million with problems. Why are we signing a player who's injured when we've already had a bad injury record for years now? I don't know what's going on at Cobham. There's massive, massive issues there. Um, I think Poch is so disconnected with the club. He's he's also said that fans will support Sterling, and I I just think that is never going to be the case. I think he, this shows me where he has a real lack of connection with the club, and he does not understand Chelsea fans on a whole. They are never going to back Raheem Sterling because there are times when his performances do not warrant the fee and the wages that have been paid for him and that he earns that is so far from reality. Even for a Premier League footballer, his money is far from reality. You know, he's on he's one of the highest earners in the league. For what? Like he isn't producing enough. And that's what is killing the relationship between Chelsea fans. And you know what? We've had other players come in the past and they've performed well and they've or they've performed okay, not as good as they should have done, but we've backed them, right? Sterling doesn't have the same attitude that some of the other players have had in previous seasons or years gone by to keep Chelsea fans on his side. He kind of has this negative body language and there's a lot of hand waving and I actually quite like Raz and I, I genuinely hope that he can do better in a Chelsea shirt than what he's done. But right now, it's not working out, is it? And I'm sure he'd admit that as well because he he must have high standards for himself. And that that last sort of game that he had was embarrassing for, for, for him. And it's really difficult to find positives in this Chelsea side right now. And I actually feel a little bit sorry for Pochettino because I think he's out of his depth, which I said before about a couple of other managers. And I think he's out of his depth with the amount of youngsters that he's got. Look, this guy is meant to be renowned for bringing youngsters through, but he's never had this much inexperience. Chucking never had this many injuries. Look, the injury list is a joke, by the way. We've got Chalaber, Chukwameka, Sanchez, Colwell, Fafana, Reese James, Lavia and Kunku, Aga Chukwu. It is comical. They don't even travel on international breaks, half these players, and they continue to get injured. I'm at a loss. I don't know what happens for Chelsea going on for the rest of the season. I don't see us achieving much at all. I think Burnley's going to be a tough game. Whether or not we can we can find something against a team that are destined for relegation, I'm not sure, which is horrific to say. How on earth are we going to struggle against Burnley, potentially? Because that's just what we've been like. 
I never know what to expect. I'm really downbeat after this international break regarding football. I've said it enough, but I don't know what to expect from Chelsea. I think Wembley, the semi-final, I've got no confidence in that whatsoever. Like, whatsoever, like, at all. I don't, I don't see how we have any route to the final drawing Manchester City. I just... Look what happened before. I think it was last season we got them in both cup competitions and it ended pretty swiftly. Um, look, I'm baffled as to where we are with Chelsea Football Club right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe because it's a weird old season and us Chelsea fans, we need to come together. We need to try and find a common ground because there's a lot of Chelsea fans pulling one way there's a lot of Chelsea fans pulling another and on this channel I want to try and get everyone sort of on the same sort of wavelength and see what we can do as Chelsea fans to try and help each other out because this is a tough time for us don't forget that Chelsea fans this is unprecedented for at least the last 30 35 years I'd say this isn't nothing's been this bad, and the ownership's never been this bad. God, I know people that used to moan about Ken Bates, but I'm sure they'd take him back now. Look, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are, and I will catch you in the next one.